Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be starting my back to school series with a back to school stationary shopping video. So our first stop today was Kiki K. This is amazing. It's a recipe folder. Molly, what are you getting so far? So I'm getting a new folder, my new salad. Which is cloth. These are cloth yeah, folders. They don't have them online, they've just been sold out for months. I was like, right, I'm going to have to go into store. I'm getting a kind of refill for my banner, which matches this colour, by the way. Because it's like everything's coordinated. And then, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Basically, Molly's looking at this keyring. I'm being a bit extra, like. For a long time. You can get cheap keyrings for this. But, but it's, it matches. It's, it matches. And it's the exact same colour as Molly's car. It matches my car, it matches my corner, it matches my. Diary, which this is going into. I mean, <laughs> it, it's a no-brainer. Really. <laughs> Molly, where are we? Chase, which is stop number two. Stop number two on the stationary tour. Like, we were in KK actually. for like over an hour. This is throwback to Little Whoa, look at those! Probably they still sell them. How cute are these? Brush pen and marker. Molly, are you getting anything? Uh, I spent all my money in Kiki K. I'm now going to do some online stationery shopping just to get the rest of the stationery that I would like. So the first thing I was looking for were the Stabilo Swing Cool Pastel Highlighters, which have been on my shopping list for years, basically since they came out but I could never justify buying them because they are actually quite expensive. I really expensive. want to get these highlighters and I actually saw them when we were in Paper Chase, but they were seven pounds and I thought they'd be cheaper on Amazon. But only by five pence. I'm just gonna buy these ones. Even though seven pounds for highlighters is a lot. And then this here is my shopping list for stationery. So I just went through and basically highlighted everything that I already had and put a dot next to it if I had found the it. The next thing I'd like to get are these. These are the, well, I say new mild liners. I think they're about two years old now, but I never bought them. That's such a nice pencil case. Look at that pencil case. Oh. I also am so tempted by these, the Tombow Pastel brush pens, because I've wanted to get them, but at the moment they're 10 pounds off, which is quite a lot when you think about it. And these are the ones that I would get if I did buy them. I've got two Tombows already and to be fair I don't use them that much. I actually prefer the colours that I've got from Stationery Island. I got them in all these autumn colours and these are gorgeous ones. So I basically decided to try out my one Tombow brush pen to see if I really was a big enough fan for me to buy the pastel set and I also just practiced some brush calligraphy. I'm not sure whether I want to really get into brush pen calligraphy and this was just a really good tester to see if I did or not. So I wasn't just using Tombow's here because I've only got one. I was also using my stationary island ones. Last year I didn't actually film a back to school stationery haul because I didn't actually buy any stationery for back to school apart from, I think I bought some glue sticks. I literally just bought glue sticks for back to university. Oh, and I bought two folders, so that's a lie. I bought two folders and glue sticks. Um, but I really didn't buy very much stationery. I missed out on the lovely back to school stationery shopping tradition last year. I want to get a square paper pad and I want to get a nice square paper pad. So it's gonna be a Four. Look at that. That is £3.60 down from 11 99 That is amazing. So the other thing which I'm tempted to get is the Rodia notebook. So Rodia is my favourite lined notebook paper brand. I love the quality of the paper. I love writing in them. They're just a really pleasant writing experience. I don't like the format of that and I have gone for this one before, the reporter's notebook style, which I really liked. So I'm going to get the Rodia Wirebound as my university notes notebook. I think it's useful to have one notebook which is just for everything, just miscellaneous stuff. I have wanted to get another Rodia for a while. I recently used up my old one, so... I'm going to get the orange Rodia. Oh, it's A4. I want A5. What? What? 
<laughs> no! Look! A4 is six fifty nine, which I would buy. A5 is £9.10, which is just too expensive. I'll buy a Rudia when they're next on sale. This is the intro I want. It's only £3 and it's in one of my favourite colours, which is oatmeal. I'm definitely going to get these, but I'm going to wait and get them in store next time I go into Wilco's because the postage is £5, which is quite a lot. The other thing that I'm considering getting, um, I probably won't get these, but I wanted to just show you in this video because they are really, really cool. So basically they're these magnetic fine liner pens and they are the coolest things. I saw them a couple years ago and I really wanted to get them. Okay, my camera ran out of charge yesterday. I am thence just gonna wrap up this video and say thank you so much for watching. I have done all of my back to school shopping now and I will be showing you everything I got in my next video. So thank you again for watching. I hope that you have a productive week. Thank you.